welcome back to today's video. Today we're headed down to the barn and uh, we were just talking about skiing. We are missing all the things you guys. We are missing skiing and skating. Gabby wants to do them all again. Yeah. And I told Sophie you should ski. I she just want to ski. She skied before. She used to go skiing too. And she said, what'd you say? The guy was holding me. Yeah, the last time she skied, the guy was holding on to her. He was like guiding her down the hill. So yeah. There's there that. was a bunch of little children still that did not yeah, go Yeah, she fast. was just a little girl though. And but I was I mean, getting very bored. But if he was cute, so. He was ugly. Yeah, but now imagine if it was a teenage boy. Super cute. Imagine I think he was blonde too. There. Yeah, but lots of boys ski. It's a good place to meet boys. We never meet boys, you guys. No, actually snowboard. Yeah, yeah, you could snow. You wanted to snowboard before we stopped skiing. You wanted to snowboard. Yeah, you still no, want to I snowboard? Oh, it's all right, easy. all right. Well, let's go down to the barn. All right, it's gorgeous out again, you guys. Gorgeous. The sun is behind the clouds. It snowed last night. Nothing better than fresh fallen snow. It's gonna be a warm day today. Our warmest day this week. This is what it looks like when I walk down to the barn. This is what it looks like. I took some of your guys' advice and it decided to put the medicine in applesauce for Penny. I could syringe it into her, except I don't want to mess up the way she takes her medicine already. So basically, when the vet wants Penny to have oil, and the very first couple of times we put the oil in her feed, she threw a fit and wouldn't eat it. So we ended up just keep putting it in there, and eventually after about three days, she did eat it. So... And Fiona told me that it took her horses a week before a week before they started eating it. They just pushed it around in their feed pan and just chose not to eat it. This is kind of important for her her gut health. So I'm going to mix it with applesauce and I'm not going to put it in with her regular grain because I don't want her to waste her grain if she doesn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're gonna give it to her in your hand. No, I'm gonna put it in her bucket after she's done. I'm 100% gonna say that this is not gonna work. If I know my penny, I'm gonna say that this is not gonna work. That I'll have to give her a lot of applesauce to disguise this stuff. All right, let's try it, you guys. Let's see if I can convince Penny Pickle to eat her probiotic with applesauce. If she eats this, then I'll put it in her regular food bowl Mom, tomorrow. Mom, hear you. Yeah, I know. Hey, you want some more grain? You want some more grain that sticks in the day? She's a slow eater now. I gotta She's wash it. She's looking at it like... She's still mad that she can smell it in there. Why are you being so slow about your grain these days? Eh? She's mad at you. I know. Lots of poop in there. There's something that she doesn't like. She's been really slow eating ever since we tried to convince. See, she's smelling. She doesn't like the smell of Just something hold in your there. Breath until you take a bite and lift your head up. Anyway, good morning. Welcome to today's video. I'm excited for today. Today we are back to see our boys. We missed today, so it's actually been, we usually see them every other day. It's been two days since we've seen them. I always worry about them. I woke up in the night with a little bit of a pain on the side of my foot, almost like in the bone, and then made me panic and worry and be like, oh no, who's hurt now? But the sun is so bright and gorgeous. That's one thing. In Canada, when it's sunny, on a snowy day, the snow reflects the sun and it is sunnier than any other, like it's bright. It gets so bright and it makes you have hope in your heart. She knows. She knows. She's faster than Ruby now. Let's do a race. Let's do a dog race. All right, we're still waiting for Penny to eat. So while we wait, we are actually going to do. Can you hold Ruby down there? 
a dog race. All right, so on the count of three, we are gonna see which dog crosses the finish line, which is this ball, first. I should actually go on the side, huh? To get a photo finish. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go. Come on, come on. We did not need a finish. We did not need a photo finish for that. That was Molly for sure. Ready? Set. Go. He said, Ruby, you let me down. There you have it, folks. Border Collie meets Golden Doodle. Border Collie beats Golden Doodle. <laughs> I feel like Molly, I feel like Ruby could win, but she's not motivated. She's not motivated. Oh, jeez. Molly is out to kill me. She just ran behind me with that big ball and smashed into my leg so my knee cave. She still has half her grain. She won't eat it out of the bucket because I didn't wash it and I'm guessing Sam didn't wash it. And I can see. Or Sam put it in here. What? If There's I put it powder in there. I see the powder in there. Do you think he actually gave it to her? Yeah, it looks like it. I think he put it in there. Just his powder though. That looks like it. That is it. Well, I made a special concoction. Sam and I need to get on the same page. Okay, so I'm not going to give her that, but it looks like it also has all of her supplement. So uh, tomorrow, our chiropractor comes, and in Canada, uh oh. That has the stuff she doesn't like. Yeah, that had the stuff she doesn't like. Ah, uh, I wish she did not do that. Well, you can soak it for the other stuff because she's not eating that. So anyway, our chiropractor comes, and in Canada, to be a vet, to be a chiropractor, you have to first be a veterinarian, and our chiropractor is a vet, and she's a really amazing vet, well, somebody that I love. She's really strict, really proper, really, like you guys, all you guys who are really strict would love her. She's very, I don't even know how to describe her, but I love this lady. I love her so much. Like, she's agreed to come on a trail ride with us at the Pasofino farm. That's how much I Ooh, love so her. we get to go again? Yeah, I think we should go for a winter ride. No, I hate winter rides. No, I want to go. I have feeling it in my bones. Who thinks we should go on another Paso ride? And we can't Corona. No, they're still running. The things you do for your pony to make her happy. That's just easy. So Sam put the powder in there. I wasn't expecting him to. See the stuff she she does. She spits it out. The stuff she doesn't like. All right. Okay, let's let's see. Let's see if she'll eat the other stuff. All right, you guys. Let's try it. Try that, baby girl. It's applesauce. She's smelling it. Her whole body's shaking. She's smelling it. She's like, mm, what is that? Do you like it? It's applesauce. I didn't even try it. I know, she hasn't even tried it yet. She's like, why you wreck my one thing that I love, my food? Okay, come on, try it. So the next step is to add some carrots and some apple pieces in it. Two. Oh. No. Why don't you put it in the syringe and just shove it down her mouth? People say to do that, but I don't want to ruin her, how she takes her medicine. All right, so for the girl who said, Sam walks Penny out better than me, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to do it again today. You're going to see I can do it just as good as Sam. No. Look at Willow told, Pen, told Molly off. All right, look out. All right, we're ready. You ready, Pen? Wait, got to get on this side of me. All right, got my hand down low. Okay, Sam does it better than me. <laughs> Sam, Gabby, don't run with scissors. I'm not, I'm not. It's all fun and games until no! somebody loses an eye. Gabby! Gabby, Gabby, put the scissors down. She can't go anywhere. Have you seen that movie, Edward Scissorhands? Yes. Did you like it? No. Oh, I love that movie. That was a big movie when. Play yeah, Scissors. yeah, I like it. We should watch it. Save me. She is. All right, so the ponies are out and poor. Penny disregarded my every my every command. I might feel like you would be happy with scissors for fingers. I would not. I would do this and cut myself. Oh yeah, and you'd have all your hair gone. Yeah. Especially I'm putting it up. I think I've cut my hair as a kid. 
by myself. Yeah, oh, yeah I think you did. Yeah, All right, so good. anyways, what I was saying is that the chiropractor comes tomorrow and I'm excited because I'm gonna pick her brain. Uh, you guys know that any of you guys who have had horses, your biggest wealth of information comes from your vets and your farriers and your chiropractors and she really has helped me in the past. Like, come on. Like she offers a lot of information and I see, I feel like Penny hasn't been her best self the last two days. And I think it's beca because she hasn't been getting her full um, supplements because she won't eat the grain because we've been trying to add in the probiotic, which is so healthy for horses. She hates it. Okay, we get a little over. We, uh, We are a little extra over mail delivery in our house. Definitely not a poppet, Sophie. Who's this for? Sam. Oh, man. It's a piece for the oven. It's a part for the oven so we can bake again. Our oven element burnt out. Man. Okay, so we are headed to the barn and I just wanted to tell you guys something while our car warms up. Basically, um, the whole thing about Daisy is really kind of like confusing to me and I told you guys before that I had a deja vu about her and I know that she was meant to come to our family. So I don't, I don't, um, I definitely am so happy to have her. She's one of the most loved pups. She's such a loving, sweet, like, beyond any other dog I've ever seen. She's she's so like a human almost. So anyway, today I talked to a psychic lady, and I said to her, um, it is our dog deaf? And she said, like, this is what she said. Okay, so I asked her if Daisy was deaf, and she said yes, that she is, and she feels vibrations. And that was really strong for me because we instinctively have trained Daisy by vibrations, like, not even knowing for sure if she is deaf, if she climbs on the couch and we and we don't want her to go there because we don't, um, I we all bang the floor with our foot and she looks up and then she gets down off the couch. So and that happens a lot when she runs upstairs. Sophie stomps to go to the stairs and she's just learned to do that because when she stomps, Daisy responds. And then she said that she reads body movement and I see that she does that. Like she does the weirdest things. Like she watches us to see what to expect. Like, it's so hard to explain, but when, she... When she thinks she's getting in trouble, she um, wags her tail and puts her head down, like, please don't hurt me. Like, she, you can tell that she's confused and she doesn't understand what, why she would get, Sophie would be mad at her. Like, this, like, she doesn't understand the rules yet. Like, she doesn't, she, she, She's learning, she's learning, but it's like it's taking longer because she can't understand the set rules and she watches and that's how she learns. Like when she walks towards Gabby, she'll look up, see Gabby there and then cross the room. Which is terrible, Gabby. Well, you got to be such a, such a mean girl. Like even though Gabby loves her and she loves Gabby, she like will try and go away from her. But also like she does, she, and most dogs do though, but she does, she reads our, our, body movement and then the psychic said that she's happy and yes she's a hundred percent happy the happiest dog we have ever had probably she's a goofy easygoing such a loving puppy and then she said something else she said that she has no clue and I said it's so true like I believe all those things she said that she doesn't have any idea that she's deaf she doesn't understand that the other dogs are hearing and that we're hearing and that she can't hear and and that's like that was overwhelming for me, that conversation, just because it's so true. She doesn't understand. She has no idea. She's adapted and she learning. She know that she makes noise when she yawns. She, she's adapting and learning in her own way. Sophie does a lot of hand signals with her. It's the hand signals that she's made up that we all work together to do with her. And she's just done them instinctually, and the puppy is learning that. Like, she is really learning. But anyway, it's just really interesting. So now I want to pass the question off to you guys. Comment below. Do you believe in psychics? Or do you think it's just all made up? I know a lot of people have different opinions. We spied the horses on our way here. We saw that we have to do the big walk. And horse. Who are you riding? Chino. Chino. Who are you riding? Finny. Finny. Who am I riding? 
ride no, nobody. Uh, no, but you're riding the mounting block. I want to ride a penny. I did some research on, whoa. I did some research on how to get Finn to a mount. It's just going to take a little bit of time. I thought I was getting on the way I do. Yeah, he gets on, he's good at for mounting. He stands to be mounted. He just doesn't like the big no, mounting block. Finn is always watching. Look, you guys. We haven't even reached the, part, the spot where he can see us, but he looks, he's always looking. As soon as he hears noises, he's like, oh no, it's not them. <laughs> so Gabby's wearing emerald, Sophie's wearing navy, Laura's wearing black. I let Gabby pick my pants. You let Gabby pick your pants? You should let Gabby give you a makeover. Oh my God. Will it include makeup? Will it include makeup? You've never done it with short hair though. You should order each other clothes. Oh my God, yes. But we have to tell the sizes. Gabby's probably an extra small. Yeah, she is. order each other clothes. Yeah, you should. I'm probably like large. You are large. There they are. Storm. Finn and Chino. Aww. Every time I come, I feel like his hair has been cut again and again and again. They cut his hair without asking my permission. Look at joining up. Storm and Oakley over there have the biggest round bale ever. I got it. Oh, he's licking my hand. Because he licks hands. Yeah, he is a licker. Oh, you know, you have that stuff on your glove. What? He probably likes the probiotic stuff. Do I have probiotics on my gloves? I like him in, in navy blue. Do you like him in navy blue? Yeah. <gasps> We're matching! I didn't even, I didn't even oh, notice. Oh, super cute. What? Oh. I met Ethan. What the Can heck happened to you? Him and his, I know. He has two shoes. So, Gabby found a boy. Gabby met a boy he's in the like, summer. He's like... Nine. He's nine. She likes younger men. No, I do not. I <laughs> no. like older. Ooh, older. Like how much older? Like two years. Yeah. Gabby, grab it. Oh my gosh. That's all the people that I like. They're like two or three years old. Uh, so Gabby gravitates like, towards like older people. Guys. I like the cute gay guys. Yeah, me too. Excited, Gabby's trying to talk me into riding Chino on a trail. No, I was talking about Sophia. Oh. I'm like, yeah, he'd run me home. She said, no, he doesn't. Double on with Haley is really bad. Double on Haley is really bad because there's nothing to hold on to. I have to put my arms like this, like I'm holding myself like yeah. She's <laughs> like, let's ride double. I have some girth for her to hang on to. Gubby ran Chino around and sent the video to the vet. And the vet said, that he's still not extending completely on the one. Oh my God, she's got scissors. Who gave you scissors? <laughs> I took them from the bathroom. He you needs to be cut. It needs to be cut today. You took it from the bathroom here? Yeah. Oh, they have scissors in the bathroom here? Yeah. Poor boy. Oh, that's where you found them. That's why all of our horses are scalped. Okay, so. They're not scalped. Look at him. Okay, so listen. The vet said he is not extending fully. Keep riding at a walk, at a lap of trot, two times each way through. Out the ride so uh, walk so one lap then walk a few more then a lap then walk a few and also walking over poles will help him as well so that is it Chino Bambino you're not completely extending perfectly but you have to build a little bit of muscle to help and the chiropractor will be here tomorrow so today you're going to do some riding My papa should he's like who are you talking about <laughs> who are you talking to all the horses like pick text Gabby walk away from the horse Walk away from the pony. He's cutting his hair. But we're supposed to pull. Fiona doesn't let us cut manes. I don't like pulling. It makes them too thin. It makes them way too thin if we pull. So I don't pull. And it's winter so I can butcher it as much as I want. And, and they don't grow have to back. go out to shows. Yeah. And you guys should know that even when our trainers give us suggestions and tell us stuff, it's still our choice. Even if there's winter shows right now. Our trainers are just people that help us and help us help us through things that we ask them to ultimately this journey is our own maybe i won't put that much weight in my right so if he's got a sprained but, ankle yeah it literally <laughs> sprained it hurts uh, oh my goodness 
It looks so much better, Fanny. I do like a short-haired boy. Oh, I need, if we're showing him this year, I need to cut it to here. All right, well, let him have some hair to keep warm. So Gabby said that he loves his hair being cut. Look at, you can tell. She says he likes it being pulled and being cut because it gets all the itchiness out. He's just standing here with his lip hanging down, relaxed as anything. So he said she's going to check his bum and see if it needs to be cleaned. I don't, I can't tell. <laughs> you, you touch it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> You're horse. Well, in the farrier saga, you guys know uh, that our farrier quit because our horses need a lot of care because they keep on blowing shoes. So, and he lives far, so it's hard for him to come when we need him. And sometimes, like we wait for like two weeks to get a new shoe put on, our horse is just sitting. Really hard for everybody. So he said, like, maybe try using the farrier at the barn because he's close. He can come whenever you need him. And so we did. We we got another farrier, and so far, knock on wood, it's been good. And it was a, being the whole farrier thing I told you guys before has been like a journey for me, like a really hard journey, one that I haven't really fulfilled completely. And I wanted to be able to have access to more information about the whole farrier thing. So we got the farrier for this barn. He's going to come and put our shoes on our boys and take care of Finn. And then today, I was able to call, or last night, I was able to call another farrier, a woman this time. And She's gonna come and take care of our girls. So they're due next week and she's gonna come next week. And it's super exciting for me. I wanna surround us with a team of amazing people. You guys know Brandon, you know Fiona, they are amazing. You know our chiropractor, I told you, I love her to death. And our vet, I love him to death. I feel a part of this big, huge team that helps us with our horses. And, and I wanna add that farrier part in too and have like a bigger team. I always wanna be having a bigger team. No mud sticks to you, Chino Bambino. He's like, really? Are you really gonna ride me? The person that calls me the most is possible fraud. Possible fraud phones me like seven times a day. No, secret admirer. Secret admirer. Yeah, that's it. Could be. Big stomach, but also not that big. Remember how hard I it was. Had a bigger stomach, but now, yeah. Remember how hard it was he for us to keep. In winter. Yeah, but he's not doing bad. He's holding his own. Remember last winter, it was so hard for us to keep weight on him. He's doing fabulous. Just got him January fifth. Yeah, we missed our one year with Chino. Did we talk about it? Uh, I think you did. Yeah, we've had Chino for a year, you guys. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way.